Hello and welcome to the Airshare Quick Start Guide video. We're going to be running through the Quick Start Guide. We're going to be actually using the Airshare API. And you're going to see how easy it is to get your content onto the social media networks. Here I'm on docs.airshare.com. You can see the Quick Start Guide is the second item in the menu on the left. And in here, it basically explains the steps. First, you need to set up an Airshare account. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be using a premium Airshare account. And you can just go to airshare.com and sign up for a premium account. We're going to get our API key. We're going to send a post within the API. We're going to talk about the docs a little bit. We're going to send another post using the random post and random media URL parameters. And that's really helpful to do test things. We're going to cover that in this video. We're going to use the free web tool Postman to make our API calls. Let's take a look at this test with Postman page, which I click on. And there's an option to fork a version of the Airshare API in Postman. So I'm going to click on that. I can just click fork collection. Okay, fantastic. I'm going to close some of these tabs that I don't need anymore. So what we see here is a list of API endpoints and we can expand them and take a look. So for example, in order to post to Airshare, in other words, create a new post on the social networks, we're going to need to send in uh, an authorization API key, and we're going to make some in a body. And if we expand Manus, we can see that there is a sample body. So this is sort of what the body should look like. And this is a sample response that we're going to get back. So there's a lot of sample requests and response that are built into this close band collection that are helpful. You can also find all of those samples in the documentation here. So under endpoints, we can expand it and we can see, okay, here is what a sample post uh, looks like in lots of different languages. And here is one a a successful response slip slice. So you can see these sample posts, both in the Postman collection and in the Airshare docs. Okay, let's go back to the quick start guide. And now we're going to make our first post. First, we need to get our API key. We're going to go over to the Airshare dashboard on your API key. We can see the API key. I'm going to copy that. And in Postman, we can go to the header. We could just hard code the API key right in here, which is what we're going to do just to keep things simple. So there we go. And now we're going to need a body. Now, before we do that, we actually need to link our social accounts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm back at the Airshare dashboard. I'm going to click on social accounts. Here you can see all of the social networks that are supported by Airshare. So want to reconnect a Facebook page. I am going to pick one of the Facebook pages that is connected to this account. Now let's connect an X also known as Twitter. I'm going to authorize it. There we go. Let's also connect a LinkedIn. Personal LinkedIn page. Okay, next, let's connect Instagram.
And now we can go back to Postman and create a post. So what means they go into a post? Let's take a look at the quick start guide. So here is the sample code. Would he have our authorization and content type already set? Let's take a look at that again real quick. Authorization and content type for authorization. It's bearer space your API key for content type. It'll be application slash JSON. And then we're going to be summing it to the app.airshare.com flash API and flash post endpoint as a post call, which is what we see up here, a post call to that endpoint. Great. So now we just need the body. So let's go ahead and highlight this text and put it in the body. Let's beautify it. Okay. So we've got Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Those are the four that we created. We have a media URL, which we're going to change. And we got a post text, which we're going to change. So let's take a quick look. as a nice bird image so we can grab maybe the medium one Let's copy the link address and we're going to replace this media URL with the one we just got from Unsplash and this is a bird flying a beautiful bird flying. So there is our body that we're going to send. So let's go ahead and send it. Okay. So we set the post, gonna make that a little bit bigger. And we've got, our response. In the response, we have the post URLs, which we can look at one by one. So first we add the post URL for Facebook. Open up in a new tower peaker. There it is. Let's take a look at the next one, which is Instagram. Let's click that. And there is Instagram. And now let's take a look at LinkedIn. We can even click on the image. We can see that these are all made of images. Let's look at Twitter or X. The URLs for X, they'll resolve to Twitter. Get that one like two. Okay, great. Just gonna click it as well. Okay, great. So we got the first step of the quick start guide going, which is sending a post to four different social networks with an image and text. Okay, fantastic. So the quick start guide actually explains what all this means, where right? we, we put in a post, we picked the social networks, we added the image to the media URLs parameter. So why don't we keep going? We definitely encourage you to look through the documentation here, all on the endpoints have extensive documentation. And for example, if we go to the post endpoint, which is what we just used, 
it's not just posts, platforms, and media URLs. There's a lot of other things in here and as well. You can have a schedule day. You can auto schedule. You can add notes. There is options for each social network. So the coming on the social network, there's unique options that you can add. So if you were to go to Facebook options, for example, you can see you can post the carousel. This is how you post the carousel and reel. And every social network has their own unique options that you should absolutely look through. So let's go back to the quick start guide. There's some discussion on errors that you can look at. It's important to keep your API key secure. Goes without saying. And let's take a look at this other great feature, which is something test posts with a random quote image or video. So what you can do here is send in a, uh, make a call where Airshare will generate a random post read. Right. For this post that we just did, we had to come up with an image on Unsplash. We had to write up a post. All of that takes mental time and energy as a developer. When you're building a new platform, you can't always quickly find an image and come up with text. And you really have to be careful. You can't just put it test, test, test as the post text um, because that's not original content and social networks for how not that. So how do we do that? So we can put some additional parameters in there so we can do random posts this true and random media URL is true. Let's replace the media URL and okay, so let's make a new test. This time we're using the random post is true. Random media URL is true. And we have the same four platforms. So let's go ahead and send that. And this is much easier than actually writing our post and picking an image each time. So great. Let's take a look at the live Facebook post. And there's a quote here from Ashton Kutcher. Take a long pause. Breathe and other things are happening for you. Not to you. Next image. And it's the same RAM and text and random image on all the other social networks. Here's Instagram. Here's LinkedIn. And let's take a look at X. Okay, fantastic. Get rid of the like. And a repost. Okay, great. So, let's go back to the quick start guide. We've gone through the uh, random post, which is great for testing. And we've got some more links here. Again, the post mail link, some really good troubleshooting um, links. If you go over to the troubleshooting page, you can see if you have some different types of errors. Our team has documented most of the issues that are common and are out there. So go ahead and, and look through away. All of it has um, section headers on the right. You can search and you'll find one of these things. So very useful. Let's make one other call which will be analytics on a post. We just set that post for different social networks. Let's just pick one. Or actually, why don't we just dip the analytics for all the social networks that we just posted to. So what do we need? We need to go find Tutation, and we need the post ID and the platforms that we sent it to. So if we go back here, you can see the post ID comes back right here. So we can copy our, we can go to analytics, get analytics on a post. And 
And we can see, here's the example. So we can grab, we can grab the text, we can put it in here. Let's beautify it. And for most one, there is no YouTube there. There is no TikTok as well. Pinterest and the post I did and keep right here. Okay, great. And send. Great. So for Facebook, really there's been no engagement. We just posted it. So not, not much has happened. Instagram, not much has happened. Then we do have that one engagement, one like that we put on. So great. LinkedIn is still all zeros. We can see Twitter X is. Uh, there's one impression and one like on retweet, which is what we did. So that's all for the quick start guide. We hope you enjoy this video. We've got a ton of other videos on our YouTube channel. And of course, check out the documentation on airshare.com from the detailed instructions on how to integrate Airshare into your platform. Thank you.